What's going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Lorena Abreu. And we're watching Why Indian Roads Are Never Safe. So, uh, if you guys haven't done so already, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, please. Bell icon, all notifications pretty. Please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching while you're subscribing and uploading. Subscribe to Anrag Salgonkar. He is the, I assume it's a he, is the one who uh, produced this video that we're about to watch. If you want to give the original an upvote, subscribe to him from there. And let him know Jabby sent you. Here we go. <laughs> yep, I crashed. <laughs> Almost 12 years of riding experience. I shouldn't be laughing at Clocked that. tens of thousands of kilometers on all kinds of bikes while taking all safety precautions and following all rules. Oh my gosh. And even then eventually <laughs> crashed right outside my house. God damn. Uh, what, why and how? This story is about everything that led me into this situation. It's so dramatic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. As soon as he got out from his it's bike, so he's shit. like, this is going to be a great video. Meaning, a <laughs> casual lack they of spelled concern. insurance different. Insouciance on the road happens in the form of ignorance towards traffic rules. Oh, in, sorry. I thought he was saying insurance. A casual lack of concern. Insuit. Oh, he just taught me a word. I was today years old. on the road <laughs> happens in the form of ignorance towards traffic rules. Reluctance of using safety gear. And oh. most importantly, insouciance that comes from the assumption an oh, assumption so that is a result of the expectation that everyone else on the road is as attentive on the road as you. In, in India, the, the rules are quite different than it is over here in the States when it comes to pedestrian traffic, road traffic, all that stuff. I don't recall seeing on every single corner a walk signal, a walk or hand signal for, for walking mm -hmm. or stopping when cars are supposed to go instead. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you, you go at your own risk. You go when you're supposed to. And everyone has to just be smart about their movement. And cars are constantly doing this. Mm -hmm. Like three lanes of traffic over here is like 15 lanes of traffic in India because they're constantly swerving and they're constantly beeping to let each other know you I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right yeah. here. All day when you're on the road. I feel like I would be very stressed out if I was driving in India. I have never been <laughs> insouciant on road when it comes to following rules or using safety gear because I never overestimated my skill or the lack of it. Okay. I have always stuck to my lanes. His meme never faces. Jumped a signal, I appreciate never that throwback. <laughs> I feel well, so old. <laughs> once by mistake. Oh, I didn't realize I'm on a foot. <laughs> I always wear at least a <laughs> every so time I'm on my bike and wear all the riding gear I have during longer rides. Where I am guilty of being insouciant is assuming that everyone else on the road is as aware of the rules and road safety as I am. I actually had a lot of fun last time I was in the Dominican Republic driving because it, it is very similar. Yeah. Um, especially if you're not in a big city yeah. like the capital or Santiago or something. If you're in anything less than a huge city or a very touristy spot mm -hmm. like the heart of Punta Cana and even then it is very chaotic driving the rules and the lights are more encouraged yeah. <laughs> more suggestions <laughs> than rules that everyone anyone takes very strictly and the meme of Dominican traffic is pasolas which is mopeds yeah, mopeds yeah. uh people will fit like a family of five and a chicken on a moped. And yeah, that's yeah. just something, they're everywhere. Yeah. And you're trying not to kill these three-year-olds that call, cut just, you off yeah. on, when their parents yeah. cut you off on a bike. They just call them scooters, I think, in India. Okay, yeah. but I actually had a lot of fun. I don't know, I was like, Mario Kart prepared me for this. <laughs> and just like me, we all are. We take risky turns assuming our tires will fit the roads good enough to I not slide over into the I love his rage face use. We rush at a signal when we see just two seconds left on the timer, assuming that traffic from other side will patiently wait for their light to turn green. We also ride in confidence in our vehicles oh no. even if we know that they are not in perfect shape. And we also save an issue with our machines for later when we have the time or will to find yeah. the tool. I need to get it fixed because ABS is a crucial, crucial thing. But Anurag, why have you suddenly started preaching about road safety, traffic rules, and this new word called insouciance? It's nicely put together. Yeah. I'm not interested in it. Just reminding you. Dig in this cello music. Yeah, I know, it's fun. <clears throat> that looks like it sucked. I think he would have cleared. It looks like one of those when you're walking in front of someone and you can't decide who's going right, who's going left. I don't know. Uh, ay -ay. <clears throat> Homeboy over there is not even wearing a He's helmet. not injured at all. He's fine. 
ढाई था तो मैं क्या करूँ अभी बता सॉरी नहीं इंश्योरेंस का पेपर बता मैं ये करता हूँ आओ He is not happy. He is not playing games. Show me your insurance paper. He doesn't have any, probably, right? I, I like you say, show me your insurance papers. Is someone in the Can Dominican Republic? Huh? Car's name is what? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. This guy takes the rules of the road very seriously. Damn. Yeah, that would that would if if I had a if I had a motorcycle that would mess me up. Yeah, especially if it's going to be a super expensive fix. Yeah, look, this is a scratch. 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 What is the leak? I don't understand. That sucks. If you're wearing a car, what do you do? You could have lost it. Yeah, he could have been damaged. He could have gotten hurt. Yeah. Who's the name of the car? The company of the car. Especially if it's that obvious. If there are two completely separate lanes for ongoing and coming traffic. Yeah. Yeah. और इतना 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 ये करके तूने कितना टाइम बचा लिया बता? हम्म? I'm so stressed for that guy. Which one? The 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 main guy or the or the one who? No, actually the other one. अब बस एक ध्यान रख कि भाई सामने वाले का भी थोड़ा ये रखना है. Okay, so he just taught him a lesson. उधर से घूम के जा कभी भी जाएगा तो. Okay. 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 That's fine. This divider is not for any thing. It has no function. At this point, the guy had accepted his mistake. There are people who who are like this that are very like about the rules, and they have mm -hmm. gone through the process of getting their license and stuff like that in the mm -hmm. traditional way. And there are other people who will buy their license. They'll spend the money to get their license. And you don't know what you're interacting with on the road. Crap. And, and, and the thing is, even though there's a, probably a large portion of drivers that bought their license, and whenever I go there, there are so few accidents that I see. Yeah. It's like, like, they're still very, very capable drivers. In the drivers. Dominican Republic, too. I mean, you yeah. have to be a capable driver to drive at all. Yeah. And it's true. I see less cars on the road, not as many big highways, you yeah. know. But I feel like when I spend months in the DR, yeah. uh, I do feel like I see less accidents. <laughs> 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 the last time I was like accidentally rear-ended, which is again different from driving mm -hmm. in literally the wrong lane. Yeah. I was just rear-ended by this lady in Toronto. She came out of her car and I gave her a hug and I was like, it's okay, we all make mistakes. Oh, like wow. I am so that You're person. such a sucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could never. First thing you're supposed to do is this. <laughs> Oh no. No, unless they look like a jerk, unless they come at me with energy that's really not friendly, then I'll get petty. And was guilty for it. And in a way, was at my mercy. This could have easily cost him his salary, so yes. I decided to just let him go with an advice. That's but this very is nice it. of him. He surely did learn his lesson. I think so. But I had a lot to learn too. There were a couple of things that went wrong and could have been avoided voluntarily by me and saved myself from the crash. First, the guy in front of me is in the wrong lane. Where he should be is here. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he's riding on a turn. On the wrong side. I had just hopped on the bike that morning and was at a considerably higher speed than I should have been on this road. Icing on the cake is the blind curve, which obviously gives mm. me no idea of what awaits ahead. Yeah. Nice this edit. is where it's too late for me to yeah. react. And as my natural instinct, or rather a panic, I grab the brakes. And a little harder than I should have because of the sheer suddenness. suddenness. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. This guy's so effective at meme editing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that because the video was so serious. And then he brought in. <laughs> and this is where I learned that whenever we are on the road, we should make it a rule that we never ride beyond our vision and beyond our skill. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're on a bike. Two stories that come to mind, I'll try to keep them super short. Years ago, I was driving my girlfriend's car. I was trying to get into the left lane, I was in the right lane. Mm -hmm. And I put my signal on and I and I moved, but I honestly can't remember if I looked. Cause I, I'm taking it for granted cause I'm, my mm -hmm. movement, I'm going quick enough, I'm thinking there's no one in this lane. So I move and I hear a Bang. This car and I connected so hard that the left wheel of my girlfriend's car 
was no longer functional at all. It, it was basically That's detached. That's terrifying. From, yeah, it was practically detached from the car. The fact that it was at all connected to the car still was remarkable that I was able to pull into like a gas station, but it was no longer like hinged the same way. And it was unhinged. Every time I'm going to switch lanes, really looking like the mirrors, I don't trust. I have to really see it from my own oh, eye yeah. before I switch lanes, which is what you're supposed to do according to the handbook. But I really, really mm -hmm. like take that rule seriously. There was one big underlying problem. It is hard to notice by the naked eye of the viewer, but I am guilty of being complacent. The weakest link was my ABS. For a layperson, ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System, which, as the name suggests, prevents your wheel from locking during panic braking situations. Oh. Situations exactly like this. Yeah, one time I was crossing an intersection in Orlando, huge, huge intersection that's about to go up to a bridge yeah. to get on a highway on the other side of the bridge. Okay. My light was green and I was very first of the cars that were coming towards the green light. Someone thought they could make the left turn oh, and I wow. T-boned her. Oh no. And my car stopped, you know, right there. I had a big Honda Odyssey. When I came to like, got out of the car, got the airbag out, looked, her car, was up on its side oh my God. and facing the wrong way, the opposite way that it was driving. Oh my God. She was against the floor. She was miraculously fine. She got out, didn't barely had a scratch or a bruise. Oh my God. But thankfully, I don't know if they checked the security cameras or not. Thankfully, it was a pretty clear cut. Why are you turning left? Yeah. Um, but that was wild. Damn. <laughs> I don't even, I don't know how the car got like that. Yeah, shit happens. It's crazy. <laughs> I would have yes, never known that. I had issues with my ABS for the longest time and had been lazy to get it fixed. Sure why this ABS light is on. I need to get it fixed because <laughs> ABS faces. is a crucial, crucial thing. Had I got it fixed as soon as I knew it, this probably wouldn't have happened. It's just such a pain. Although, to give myself the benefit of doubt, Cornering ABS would have been much more helpful in this situation. But my bike never had that feature. What it had was ABS and that wasn't working. Thankfully, I was lucky enough to learn this lesson in not a painful way and came out of it unscathed. The first thing that I did after this was obviously correct what I can. If there's ABS problem in this problem, I have to fix it. The light always runs and basically doesn't work with ABS. We often tend to take things for granted. Mm -hmm. We all are guilty of doing that. Mm -hmm. And I'm also very sure that me, the very same person making this video, is going to take things granted on the road someday again. We're only and human. Insouciant. Insouciant. Being on the road, especially on the bike, comes with a lot of risks. And these risks are a part and parcel of what we already are aware of when we sign up for it. Dog, so should we stop riding bikes the on the road then? No. Well, we just need to keep India. reminding ourselves that we need to ride within our capabilities and with full attention. And if we don't, life has beautiful ways of reminding us <laughs> no, of our mortality. I love and that. And we'd rather not let life teach us that. In case you find yourself in an unfortunate situation like this, instead of finding a way to shift the blame on others and whine about it, use this opportunity to self-reflect and improve things yeah. that can be improved. Uh, last August, you know Burbank and Sepulveda? Yes, sir. That it's got like two lanes right, one lane left. You know yes. what I'm saying? And so the far right turn lane mm -hmm. is so that you can make a right onto Burbank. That's what that lane is for. But a lot of people don't don't know that and they end up just going straight mm -hmm. instead of going into the right turn lane. Yeah. And I was in the middle lane that mm -hmm. also goes right to go straight not go right mm -hmm. uh, or left for that matter. Mm -hmm. uh, and so what happened was I'm going straight after I come out of the right and the other guy next to me also goes straight as he's coming out of the right instead of going to the right turn lane. So he goes, he drives right into me. Oh no. And he says, it's my fault. And he <gasps> said, I was trying to, I was trying to jump the line or something. I'm like, dude. It was so obviously yeah. not your fault. <laughs> it's crazy like what people, and, and it's just, and it, people are bringing their own driving culture and their own uh, understanding of things rather than actually analyzing how they're supposed to go. And they think just because they do it, that's the right way. It's like, no, like, I'm glad he's saying it. it's like, you have to objectively look at the situation and ask yourself what is actually correct. Yeah. And what can you learn from this? And that guy was just, he didn't give a shit what like the actual rules were. Mm -hmm. And so my car got like scratched up. His was already like a piece of junk. So yeah. I had to pay for my own damages because my insurance company is not great. <laughs> Imagine every bastard on the road, including you, is going to do their best to put you in the hospital. Oh. <laughs> and with that thought in your mind, yeah, drive defensively. make sure you get up yeah. as much as you can and prepare yourself for the worst scenario. 
and with what was left of an alert enough mind and a brave enough soul make sure you have as much fun as possible because trust me you never would want to stop running <laughs> yeah when i was younger young 20s i was always speeding i do not do that anymore oh okay it's not worth it i guess that makes one of us <laughs> i know most of my friends speed there was someone riding in the car with me once and they said Every time I get in your car, I see my life flash before my eyes. You don't want to be told that. <laughs> I laughed. I'm like, no. calm down, bitch. <laughs> no, that used to be me. That used. I had that reputation. Like when I lived in Orlando. I would love to anymore. ride with you if you were driving like that. I I curb sneak a lot. If you don't know what curb sneaking is, it's basically like everyone's at a red light mm -hmm. and there's like this one lane over here for for you know if you're gonna make a turn. So I go into that turn lane. I wait for it to hit green. As soon as it hit green, I go right and I so I sneak in front. I experienced it on the way over here trying to get you know because i knew you were here waiting for me i'm behind this car it's a tesla teslas go zero to 60 like that so yes, i'm sir. like i'm like okay we're good here right <laughs> and so it, it's green and the car doesn't move for a long time i'm just like dude wake up man it's green green means go 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 now go now i'm guilty of being that guy sometimes yeah. this thing happens with google maps where sometimes it just decides it doesn't know which direction you're going and then i'm like wait a no, wait, no. Wait. By the time you choose a direction and hope it's the right one, Google's like, oh no, you bitch, that was the wrong way. <laughs> That's happened to me so many times in the past few days. So I have been that person at the green, like, oh crap, I'm yeah. sorry, everybody. If, if it's like that, then I, you know, it's, I get it. But like, like, this is something I experience everywhere with people who just don't seem to be awake. And yeah. probably, they're probably just scrolling on Instagram or something. S something weird happens in Atlanta. Maybe not in Atlanta proper, but just south of Atlanta in the Fayetteville area. Yeah. There's this thing that happens constantly where people cut you off. Like maybe you're in a big like four lane road mm -hmm. and someone is coming out of a store or something. They will cut you off off going like 15 miles an hour. It is the weirdest thing. Oh, that would, thing. Wait, my, that would make my blood boil. It is a constant occurrence and it just doesn't happen to me in other places. That I don't would, know what's going on the, there. You, you have to have really good patience for that. That would make my blood boil. Oh no, my blood boils. Just, just hearing that makes me, makes me quite upset. I'm like, I'm what's going? Like, yeah, that's irritating. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I'll, I'll zip around, but what I try to do is have clearance, right? And so mm -hmm. if it's like 35 and I'm driving 50 and I shouldn't be, before I scoot over, like I make sure there's lots of room between me and that person that I just passed by before mm -hmm. I come into the lane. Even if I'm switching lanes quickly, they're way behind me, so I feel okay. Yeah. What I don't like is when people switch lanes right in front of me. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like, why? What did you gain? Yeah, exactly. Like, dude, you're taking a chance. That's not cool. If you're going to be that close to me, you have to follow the rules yeah. and turn your freaking signal on for three seconds, make oh sure it's clear, gosh. and then move, you know? It's so easy. It's, it's literally... Yeah. And people... The thing is, though, if I see someone <laughs> zipping by, I'm happy. I'm like, cool, get out of my way. Like, mm -hmm. you, you go on with your bad self. As long as you're not slowing me down, I'm happy with you. But if you're going to jump in front of me and go super slow, I will cut you. I will <laughs> find you and I will cut you. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Lorena Avenue. Peace out.